through the mystic arts, we harness energy and shape reality. We travel great distances in an instant. Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with Marvel, and I am here at a very special event celebrating the science of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. This event is brought to you by the Science and Entertainment Exchange, Marvel Studios, and The Great Company, which is hosting this thing. Right behind me, there's a costume from Doctor Strange, and all around this space we've got costumes, we've got artifacts, we've got props, along with some of the scientific explanations of how they could actually work in real life. The cool thing is, the highlight of the evening is the number of talks that are being given by scientists, many of whom have actually been advisors on Marvel movies. I'll be sitting down with them, finding out their secrets. So for those who may not be familiar with the exchange, can you talk a little bit about the mission? The Science and Entertainment Exchange is a program of the National Academy of Sciences, and that the National Academy of Sciences is a private, nonprofit institution. Marvel is science fiction in a lot of ways, you know, and it's always helped to have one foot in uh, uh, the fantastical and all the, all the exciting things that can't really happen in our world, and one foot in uh, uh, real science. There are sort of two angles of attack that you can get into when you as a creative or a writer are working with a consulting scientist. And one is the blue sky period where you're not sure what your story is yet and you just want to look for interesting gaps out of which mysteries might emerge. You know, movies are a great way to educate the public, educate the masses, um, and I think it's important to have a strong intersection between movies and scientists. And so what, what I loved in, in my experiences with the exchange is that they really open the minds of the writers in a way that make them say, oh, this is a possibility, like swarm theory or chaos theory, and vice versa, really just seeing the creative people rub off on the scientists in their work too. Well, you know, the big message for tonight's event is that um, science fiction and science actually aren't that far apart. Are these superpowers that we see in all the Marvel movies something that actually can be real? How much of this is science and how much of it is science fiction? And I think what the really fascinating thing is, is that most most of this is, is based in science, and there is, a, there is a feasible path to get there today. And they get so excited about what they're doing, and then downstream, I think the scientists also, they know how inspired they were by the movies and the television shows that they watched as kids. You know, we talk about all these superhero movies that Marvel does. I mean, we're trying to create the superheroes of tomorrow, the, the next generation of scientists that will solve all the problems and think of the next great inventions.